First of all, we're going to make the basic moon buggy vehicle and then add a body and various designs for accessories for the vehicle. So we'll start with these little wooden axles and a pencil sharpener. And what we need to do is just shave off a tiny little bit from the ends of the um, axles so that these little axle clips can fit. It really is a very small amount. So here's a separate little axle there. Finished. Just a tiny little bit has been removed. And then we want to see if that little clip fits on the end with a hard push, a firm push. So that one's done, yeah. These ones have all been completed. So we'll pop the axle clips on. It's a good way to start here, pop the axle clips on. So we know that they all fit before we go on to the next step. So there. All four ends have been sharpened very slightly and then that's ready for the next part of the assembly. Now we won't use the axles straight away, you'll see why in a second. We'll go on to the wheels and the wheels have to be able to spin freely on the axles and we'll do that with the help of a little bearing. And bearings make wheels run smoothly on axles and cut down the friction. Now sometimes with foam wheels you do find a little bit of foam stuck in the middle but that's uh, not a problem. Just push it out with uh, an axle, push it out, push it out, push it out. Or you can use a pencil to do that and then the little wheel bearing pushes inside. So it's as simple as that. Push and twist, press it in with your thumbs like that, check that it comes through and then it's pretty much even on both sides. Now that's four wheels, so we've got four wheel bearings in total. Push and twist, press with your thumbs, check it's gone evenly one side and the other. Same again. There we go. And there is the last one. So there's four wheels and four uh, and two axles with the clips already fitted. And now we'll move on to the chassis. The chassis already has two holes all the way through from one side to the other. So just so that you can see those holes nice and clearly, I'll just mark them with a, um, I'll mark them with a felt pen. Let's have a look. So we don't need to do this. It's just you, in order for you to see it a bit better, I've just marked it there with a, a felt pen. So there's two holes. So look for your two holes and they go all the way through and come out the other side. So there's our two little holes there in the chassis. Next, what we want to do is pop in the two axles. So the clips will come off. Just wiggle them to tear them off. In goes one axle. In goes the other axle. And then we'll pop them through so they're even on each side. Fabulous, there's our axles. And now the wheels, two wheels to go on, each axle, and then a clip from either side. So if you're pushing towards yourself like that, that's a really good way to do it, look. There we go. Next, next wheel, next wheel, clip, clip, push towards, and then check that the axles are nice and central. Well, we should, that's our basic vehicle there, which should run quite happily along. And the bearings inside are simply making the, reducing the frictional force, which would normally be sort of the rubbing force between the wheel and the axle. And because they're made of smooth plastic and because the axles are smooth, there's very little friction. So the vehicles move quite freely. So that's the vehicle, basic vehicle completed. And then the next uh, clip will show how to attach body work to it.